everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this cute little treat holder, and it features two new products from the 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. First up is the Wiggle Worms stamp set. Here it is, it actually has a coordinating die set, which I think if you're gonna buy these adorable stamps, you need the dies that cut out those cute little bugs. So if you buy them together, you get 10% off, you save when you buy it as a bundle. So we're gonna use that, but we're also using a new punch. Here it is, you can see it on the back, the delightful tag topper punch. It is really fun and it punches really well. It makes a great tag, but I've used it to create a fancy little top on our box. Now inside is just a bag of gummy worms. My daughter saw these on my desk today and she said, can I have them? And I said, after I'm done with the video. So they're only gonna last a few minutes here at my house. But I just put some gummy worms in a little cello bag to put them in. You could really do anything. There's lots of different little bug candies you could find or just anything really. Um, you amaze me. I thought it was really cute too. A really good sentiment. Oh, did you notice the ribbon? Yeah, new too. It's very pretty. We'll talk about it when we get there. Okay, so now you're going to need some measurements for this project. You're also going to need the product information. If you go over to my blog using the link here at the bottom of the video, you'll find a post that has these three projects. All three use the wiggle worms. The second page has this project and here are the measurements and here are the products that you need. Make sure you hop over there to get them. All right, let's make the box first. You're gonna need a piece of granny apple green cardstock that is five and a half by 11. And you're gonna start, let's start on the short side. We're gonna score the short side at one and three fourths and three and three fourths. Turn it and score it at four and a half and six and a half. And then over here, you're gonna bump over to four and you're gonna make that score line, but stop right there because we don't want the score line to go across that middle section. And then you can drag your little marker like this to score it on the other side or you can turn it around and do the other side. So four and seven. All right, so see if you turned it, you would do four and seven like that, okay? So there you have it. And now you're going to, we actually need to burnish all of these, these lines right here, the big long ones. Use your bone folder if you have it. I always forget to get my bone folder out for the videos. Now take your scissors and you're gonna, we're gonna cut out the four corners. And we're gonna go all the way to that full score line, but we're, we're gonna cut across this short score line because we're leaving a little tab here. That's gonna help us adhere that. Okay, so watch again. Go down all the way to the long second score line, but cut across on the short score line. Now, you could use your trimmer if you want to make sure that your sides are straight. Um, if you have a good trimmer, that would work really well. All the way in, and then there you go. Now, this is what your piece looks like, and we need to fold those in, and see, it's gonna fold up just like that. But first, before we do that, let's punch this so it's cute at the top. This is the delightful tag topper punch. And I want to point out something to you right here. You can use this on three different sizes of cardstock to make a tag topper. One inch, one and a half inch, and two inches. So you'll see when I stick this in, it's exactly at those two inch guide marks. It is, makes the punch really versatile and you can make tags of different widths, which is really smart on Stampin' Up's part to do that. All right, now for adhesive, we're gonna put adhesive on the front side of these four lines. You need to use a really strong adhesive. I'm using something that's old called Fast Fuse. It's no longer available, unfortunately, but you should use tear and tape or Tombow liquid. Those will hold your projects together. See how I'm folding the sides up? Really simple. And then, well, let's get that straight, line it up, 
and line it up and there you go and then we'll just tie that together like that isn't that adorable now let's talk about this ribbon you guys it's called purple tri-colored ribbon and it's really good with i believe it's three eighths it but it just feels kind of silky i'm going to set this in here that's going to help me tie that a little bit better and it ties really really well I believe the colors in the ribbon are Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and Purple Posy. But because it has all three, it's just called Purple. All right, now we can get that out of there. That was just to hold it while I tied the bow. And you want these little, the little legs to be kind of long and hanging down, but not too long that it's gonna co cover up our image. And we'll adjust that in a minute. Now let's make our tag, okay? You're gonna need a whisper white circle. This is the stitched circles, and it is the second largest, okay? So the second largest stitched shape circle die. Now I'm gonna stamp the little clouds in Pool Party. They look like ice cream, don't they? And then I'm gonna get Memento Black, and I'm gonna stamp our little, I don't know, is he a dragonfly? I think he's a dragonfly. I'm gonna stamp him twice. I'm using Memento Black because I'm gonna use my alcohol markers, stamp and blends to color it in. Now we have got, look at this beautiful color palette. This is Highland Heather. So we'll start first with the light Highland Heather and I'm gonna color him all the way in. And then I'm gonna come back with the dark and add some dark to make him kind of ombre looking. He is so cute. This little stamp set is whimsical and just really fun. I think it's gonna make great cards for kids, but also bright, cheery, fun projects that you need to do. This is, this is a great go-to stamp set for that. And here in the summer, while I'm making this, it just, I think, is perfect. All right, now I'm gonna get the dark. And I'm using the bullet tip because I have, I find that I have much better control with a bullet tip. All right, I'm doing the, the wing that's behind and then I'm gonna do this little bottom part here. And then I'm gonna go back with the light and I'm gonna put a second layer here in the middle. That way it's kind of like dark, medium, and light. Okay, you can see it's pretty easy to color. Now I'm gonna do the other one in Lovely Lipstick. You really have lots of of choices for coloring. You could use Stampin' Blends. You could watercolor them with your inks and an aqua painter. You could use our watercolor pencils, which I think probably would be a really good choice since it's a small um, object. And if you're gonna watercolor or use the pencils with water or even a um, blender pen, which you use by picking up your ink and coloring, and then it's kind of a water that's in the pen, you need to use stays on black because Memento will run with water. Memento is a water-based ink, and you need to use an alcohol-based ink with your water. Okay, almost done. One more little, right there with a the light. Okay, now let's do the blue pool party. I have dark. I wanted to use light, but we'll go for it. Let's see. You can use any of our classic inks with Stampin' Blends. They uh, react just fine. And it gives you more of a um, lighter, uh, less hard line feel when you do that. All right. Our little ice cream scoops in the sky. There we go. Oops, there we go. Okay, now let's cut these things out. I have already cut out a large leaf in uh, soft sea foam and the grass and granny apple, but we need to cut out our little bugs. And of course, the die set has the perfect die. Charlie is in here saying hello. I can tell he's ready to bark my little shadow during the day. He likes to come in when I'm making a video and scratch and shake and make noise. Oh, he is something, that one. 
he is our rescue and he just doesn't like to be alone which is fine except when i'm making a video <laughs> okay we've got our bugs cut out and now let's piece this all together we also need to stamp the sentiment on a small piece of whisper white which has eluded me where did it go okay well here we'll use this one I am just gonna stick with the ink that I have out, Memento Black. And it's just a real small sliver of white, about a quarter of an inch thick. And I'm gonna cut off the edges at an angle like that. Okay, let's put this all together. Now first, I'm gonna add this grass down here and i think on my sample i actually use two layers of grass you can just line it up there and then turn it over and cut it so that it matches whoops we got a glue dot hanging out matches the edge of the circle and then you can even take that second piece and just kind of add it if you wanted to but for the sake of the video i'm going to leave it and then i'm going to get many dimensionals and we're gonna send these these bugs flying across our tag, kind of going towards each other. The mini dimensionals work great on these. I think a big dimensional would be fine, but I just feel like the mini dimensionals are better. There we go. And we'll use a mini dimensional on our sentiment. I'm gonna put it right down there across the bottom of that grass. And then I just felt like it needed something else. So that's why I cut out the big leaf and I'm just gonna kind of put it behind like that. How adorable. I love these bright and fun colors. All right, now all you need to do is add your dimensionals to your tag and to the front of your, your box. And then let's take a look at our ribbon. Do we need to trim it? I feel like we need to trim just a bit. Let's see, there and there. And we'll fluff out that ribbon and there we have it. Let's look at them side by side. They're so cute. This one just needs some candy. All right, you guys, make sure you hop back over to my blog, find that PDF. It's on the Facebook Live post where there's two other projects using the same stamp set, and it's under the last photo. You can click on it and get all the measurements and product information that you need. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know if you have questions. Don't forget to get your Wiggle Worms bundle. Bye.